Perched atop Mount Hamilton and within squinting distance of San Jose is a place where technology and history collide. It was, it was really the pinnacle of technology back in 1888. And I like to think of it as the dawn of high tech in Silicon Valley. This is Lick Observatory, a Santa Clara County monument and celestial discovery center. As soon it was completed, started making great discoveries. The behemoth telescope astronomer Eleanor Gates is referring to is the facility's 36-inch refractor telescope. So the telescope itself is about 58 feet long from top to bottom. The full weight of all the moving parts of the telescope is about 14 tons. Built in 1888, the telescope was an engineering marvel. Just getting the construction equipment to the top of Mount Hamilton required years of lugging equipment up a windy road on horseback. A project that cost more than $700,000, or around $1.2 billion today. And it was all funded by this man, Mr. James Lick, a wealthy Bay Area landowner. James was not a scientist, but he was intrigued by science. He was actually a, a major supporter of the California Academy of Sciences. Sadly, James Lick died before the observatory was completed, but his contributions ultimately helped with the discovery of numerous astronomical findings that continue to this day. Discovering planets around other stars, discovering new supernova explosions, and uh, characterizing them. As technology progressed, Lick Observatory took some of the first photographs of distant galaxies and planets. And just in case you're wondering, yes, astronomers are looking for aliens. We have not yet discovered any aliens. However, we are looking. Today, Lick Observatory is managed by UC Santa Cruz, and it has multiple high-tech telescopes that are used to search the sky, some even using giant lasers. This is something you don't want pointed in your eye. Definitely don't want to point in your eye. This is not an eye-safe laser. The three-meter Shane telescope isn't looking for extraterrestrials, but it does use its five-watt laser to study black holes in deep space. Fun fact, before astronomers turn on the laser, they have to notify Space Force so they don't hit sensitive satellites. You got Space Force on, on a speed dial then. You betcha. <laughs> the Lick Observatory continues to stand the test of time, even surviving some major disasters. Scientists used the telescope to see the damage in the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. And then back in 2020, the whole facility narrowly survived the SCU lightning complex fire as it raged outside the telescopes. I think James Lick would be amazingly proud of his legacy. From the Lick Observatory on Mount Hamilton, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back row.